Hello, welcome back to MTGXL. We are ploughing through these cards. Uh, Fair week by the seems of it now. Um, we've gone through packs 1 to 12. We're on another 6 packs, so packs 12 to 18. So, let's have a look, see what we get. Well, we had a very good last pack um, on the last um, 12. So We packed Villis, Bunker of Blood. And it's worth one dollar eighty something, eighty six. That is a good card. It's a good card. It's not about the price; it's about the mechanics. Soldier token, evolving wilds. Well, slow down. Slow right. Down. <laughs> Sorry. You. The, your legs. Those are lucky. our. That's the soldier. To, that's that's our token, and that's our land for the pack. Unless we get a four. Hmm? Unless we get like a rear land. Fly, still here. Right. Aerial assault. I'm going to speak for. No. This is a sorcery. Uh, it costs three mana. And destroy target tapped creature you gain one life for each creature you control with flying. As I was saying in the last video, if you had, if you had a flying heavy, a fly heavy deck, this would be the good the, the card for you. A befuddle. It's uh, instant. We've already had it though. Inspiring captain. <laughs> You'll get a lot of them. We've had this. <laughs> we've had a lot of I these. Don't think we've, had that. we've had it. Have we? Yeah. Captain. Yoked ox. Again, had it. <laughs> Plummet had it. Not plummet, I know because I kept that one. <laughs> Soul salvage had it. Are you sure? Yes. We had ox. We've had th that was the first. That was in the first pack we had. Yoke sure? yoked ox. Yeah, I'm sure. I'm sure. I'm positive. <laughs> Reduced to ashes. We've already had. Unsummon. Netcast <laughs> spider. Are you serious? A second. This is a. That right. Here we go. The card we haven't had. We. And how many cars are left in the pack? Th three, four, four cars left in the pack. Uh, this is Mulvine Reclamation. It's three generic mana, one black, one green. Enchantment, whenever a creature you control dies, you gain one life and draw a card. That's pretty good. If it go well in your Golgari deck, if you build it, or adapt it. Whenever a creature you control dies, you gain one life and draw a card. What is in Golgari deck all the time? Golgari. Yeah. Golgari is the... So, there's guilds. There's different guilds. Mm -hmm. Golgari is green-black. They are the colours. And... Uh, Rakdos is red-black. Red red-black is Rakdos. Red-green... Uh, bl Black-green is... Uh, I, think you, I think you need befuddle. Golgari. You need befuddle. Uh, no, 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 no. Okay. Uh... Green blue is Simic, red black, uh, no, red red blue is is it, red green is Gruul, white black is Orzov. I might be missing one. I'm getting a lot of threats on the channel. I don't feel safe. <laughs> uh, hardcover, uh, one blue, or enchantment, enchant creature. Enchanted creature gets plus zero plus two and has tap, draw a card, and then discard a card. I think we've already had that. Blood for bones. Sorcery spell for black and two and uh, three generic. As an additional cost of spell, sacrifice a creature. Return a creature from your graveyard to the battlefield, then return another creature card from your graveyard to your hand. So that's that's good. And then our our rear is Leyline of Sanctity. This is the white version of that green one we had. It's white, white, and two generic. Uh, it's an enchantment. If Leyline of Sanctity is in your opening hand, you may begin the game with it. Uh, you have hexproof, so you can't be the target of spells or abilities your opponents control. Which is good. 
Lux got one of these little holographic stickers on here. Meaning it's rare. Meaning it's rare. And if you see here, that's uh, gold, so it means it's uh, just just rare. Orangey brown is or orangey bronze is mythic. Um, ice uh, black is just common. Uh, uncommon is this bluish silver, and there are this green symbol, which I'm not sure, and there's a red one. Above the waist, otherwise they'll think we're cheating the packs. <laughs> I'm coming to a noob to Okay, so Cheat we are packs. Friday Night Magic. Friday Night Magic. Don't forget to tell your friends. And another zombie. <laughs> it's going to be land. Is it? Or is it going to be foil? Land or foil? What's about? Land. I picked land as well. Yeah, swamp. Yeah, swamp. Okay. <laughs> here we go. We go from the bottom now. Oh, here we go. <laughs> you already got that one. Already got that one. Slow down. You can't even see him on the screen because he wants to click. We got moment of heroism and frost links. There we go. That's enough. So we just keep it there. It will be okay. Unholy endurance. Yeah, we we have got that one. We gotta get these are the cards that we've done now. Yeah. Are the cards that you've looked up and you got yourself. I know. These yeah. are the cards we've done now. I, I I know. I've seen these. Uh, we've got that. Oh, we haven't got this one. This is Greenwood Sentinel. Uh, it's a two-two for two. It's vigilance, so it doesn't uh attacking doesn't cause this creature to tap, as stated on the card. Hmm. Uh, yeah. Nothing more to say about that one. How many is that there? To cast. Oh, that's two. That's two. Hmm. So one green, one generic. Chandra's Outreach. Got it. Another, Another one. one we haven't got. Stone Golem. It's a 4-4 four, for four, 5. Uh, it's a vanilla card, so it doesn't have any abilities. It's, it's so colourless. It's just a 4-4. Four, four. So you, you, you can have it deck. in any deck. Oh, it's not too bad because it is a 4-4. Four, four. <coughs> Gorging Vulture. It's a 2-2 two, two for 3. It's a creature bird. It's a, it has flying, and whenever it enters the battlefield, Put the top four cards of your library into your graveyard. You gain one life for each creature card put into your library this way. That'd be good for creature heavy deck because there's going to be more creatures than anything else. Uh, mind rot. So I think yeah, we've already had that one. Plummet. We've had a couple of plummets. <laughs> Ember Horror. I do believe we have had. But it's a 2-2 two, two for 2 red. Uh, pay 1 of any colour. Sacrifice Ember Hauler. It deals 2 damage to any target. No, I've got that one in my new arrangement of deck, haven't I? Yeah, Manifold Key. I've got that, because I thought that would be a nice to, to throw in it. Alright. Let's have a look. So, Manifold Key. It's a 1 mana artifact. Uh, you pay 1, tap it. Untap another target artifact. Uh, or, you can pay 3 and tap it. And target creature can't be blocked this turn. So it has two abilities there, it's really good. Yarox. So when it's got two abilities oh, okay. like this. Oh. Ooh. Oopsie daisies, oh. that's not rare. <laughs> you can only play one or the other. No, you can't only play one or the other. You can play both, but... You need something else to untap, untap it. it. But it untaps every turn. But untap if you want to play... Untap another target artifact. You can't target it, though. <laughs> you can't target itself. So, if, if you had a standard deck, if you had another card which had a similar thing, which you could untap to another card, you could untap it. If you tap it, use this one, untap the other one, untap that one, the other one would be tapped again. But there would be an endless loop of nothingness but mana waste. No, no, no <laughs> if, you have, if, you have if you have a different one which had another effect on it. Yeah. Yeah, so you could tap that, it would do that. Okay, okay. This is, we've already had this one, so the next one's going to be our rare. And I know it's like, it's not Legion's Landing, but it is Legion's End. Okay. Did we talk about this one? Yarox? Yarox, yeah, we, we talked about it. We, it just... Then it was Battlefield, and... Was it Fenluka, the last one? Was, was it the same one? Was it Yarox, Fenluka, or was yeah. Yarox something else? I think it was Fenluka. 
But if if we didn't cover it, then I was about to say we do that again. But Agent Dent, sorcery only works in standard, by the way. <laughs> Commander, nothing. Uh, where do I put this? Right, there we go. Legion's End. That's cool. Uh, so it's it's a ray. You can clearly see it's uh, some sort of rarity. Uh, exile. It's a sorcery for two. Exile target card and a uh, target creature an opponent controls with converted my cost two or less, and all cr other creatures that player controls with the same name as that creature. Then that player reveals their hand and exiles all cards with that name from their hand in graveyard. So that, that's fine. If it, uh, it only works as standard essentially, because like, the you're only so gonna have one more there. than one creature in in the multi uh, creature m multi card format. What well, well, when a commander's like, just one card a deck, but not one card a deck, but one of each card a deck, and I saw the West did. All creatures of that name. Yep. With the same name, so it's just it's not the class, not like the spiders or. No, just no. with the name. So the name isn't up up yeah. there. Right. Name's up there and the creature type's down there. Is this a, a mythic? <laughs> Do we think... Oh, it's another one of these books. Hang on. Hmm? Let me have a token. Wolf. Another wolf. We've got a wolf. Okay. <coughs> you think it land or foil? I will say foil this time. Yeah, I was oh. right. We've got a foil ray. That's that's pretty good. So if this is a foil ray, that means we still got another ray. You think so? Yeah. yeah we've so got a foil. Means the next one's land. Graph digs cage. We've already addressed this one. We've already addressed this one, but this one's foil, as you can see. Might as well put this in a sleeve. So the next one, you think this is land? No, the next one's rear. Land, sorry. And then the next one is rear. There you go. That one's cool. I like that. I like, I like the picture. <laughs> Just a pity picture. I know, but some of them are rubbish. Some are really good, some are rubbish. I think I'll say you've got to... Address the art. Yes, I'm going to look at the art. Be. Okay, to avoid any confusion or any mishaps, I saw something on accident. Uh, uh, I did. Sages Row Denizen, stay tuned to find out what I saw. <laughs> uh, we've already addressed this one. Uh, and that one. Oh, and that one. We've got this one. This is a new one. Oh, it's one three for two. It says life link. Did we say what life link was? Dog is in the background. Psst. Down. <laughs> and it's gone upstairs. No, it's not. No, it's not. Luna down. <whistles> Go on. Come on, poor child. Say hello, Luna. Woof. You know my other shows. Hey. Come on, then. <laughs> right, we've got, a, we've got a special guest. <laughs> this is the dog. This is, um, Wolf. Pain in the arse. Plus one, plus one. <laughs> this, this is the... That, that card that puts a green... Uh, one, one, a 2-2 two, two Wolf into play. Come on. I'll tell you, that's not a 2-2. Two, two, you go in the kitchens. Come on, in the kitchens. It feels like a 5-5 five, five when she bites you. <laughs> anyway. Uh, did we say what life link was? You did, but it says we're there. Okay, so that that's what... I'm going to pause now. That's what life link means. <gasps> it's clawing at me. <laughs> Opta Profit. We've, we all, we've already had that one. Fire Elemental, the five-year-old picture. It is, that's rubbish. So there it is. Let's let's give a big shout down. Oh! <gasps> that last card. 
basically, um, <laughs> I'll do anything for that last card. <laughs> I will literally. Okay, so basically, I'll delete my channel. This, for it. Whoever designed this, right? Whoever designed this card, it's mentally a four-year-old. Should not be designing and drawing images for magic. <laughs> how how much uh, did this person got paid for drawing that? I don't care. That's just wrong. And what are you called wizards? Oh. They need to sort themselves out. I keep thinking of wizards of Coast. Harry Potter. This is wizards. Of, this is wizards of the coast, not wizards. <laughs> oh, well, the wizards yeah. world of Harry Potter. Do, do, no. do, oh, well, I like to say that. <laughs> oof, huh? oof, copyright. Oof, That's wrong. <laughs> Pack mastiff. As a two two. It's a hound. It's like that one. <laughs> It's a 2-2 two, two for 2, and you pay 2. Each creature you control named Pack Mastiff gets uh, plus 1, plus 0 until end turn. You didn't know any commander. I've seen that last card. You might as well build around that last card. No, no. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. I'm taking these cards, <laughs> I'm taking the one of these scenes and I'm putting it there. So I'm coming on without any distraction or slowness. So this is, this is the dinosaur. Just that we one. addressed earlier. What? That we, we saw it earlier. Yeah. Menace. The 6 5. They can't be blocked. Menace off. is the creature will be blocked except by two more creatures. So it's quite a strong creature as well. Yeah. 6 5 for, 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 six, five for 6 with Menace. So if you attack somebody with that. They'd have to block with two more creatures. Two. They couldn't just block or with more. One. Or more. You can have more. Two or more. So you can so have two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. If the opponent only had. Two creatures. One was uh, a four four, and the other one was a commander that was in play. That was like yeah. a, about nine, like a twelve. Yeah. Really. You could only. You could have. To, you could only. Have, I would have to. I would have to use two to block it. Yeah. Or let let it attack, let it kill my light on the dome. Let it. Yeah. Yeah. Audacious thief. Uh, one of my first M twenty cards. Audacious Thief. It's a 2-2 two, two for 2. Uh, for, sorry, for 3. It's a human rogue. One audacious... Ooh, put it down. Put it down. <laughs> I, I hate you so much. <laughs> yes, get a sleep for it. Okay, so what about? What's this? Uh, audacious Thief. When it attacks, you draw a card and lose one life. Growth cycle we've already addressed. Eternal Isolation. Put target creature with... Power four or greater at the bottom of its owner's library. What? <laughs> I just want oh, to that's, so that's interesting. So, you could you use that against Galter Commander? However, uh, the the people, the person that come that owns that commander, uh, chooses whether it goes to the bottom or the command zone again. So it wouldn't be worth doing against that. No. But something like one of the seven sixes. Yeah. Well, that's not too bad, eh? It's right. Renowned Weaponsmith. So one three for two. Did you say Smurf? Weapon. Uh, yeah, you it's said, blue. You said Smurf. It's blue, so yeah, Smurf. Uh, tap it. Add. Uh, colorless, colorless. Spanish mana only to cast artifact spells. Or activated abilities of artifacts. Pay one blue and tap. Search your library for a card named Heart Piercer Bow or Vile Dragonfire. Put it into your hand, then shuffle your library. Cool, I don't care. So, what's the <laughs> then? then uh, we've got both of them. Heart Piercer Bow? Yeah, we've got that. Vile and Dragonfire. Vile Dragonfire, we've so got. Do you remember what they are? Uh, Vile Dragonfire is a two. Did we just pull them? It's a two man artifact for two. Okay. Uh, two mana artifact. You pay two. Uh, it deals two damage to uh, a target creature yeah. and opponent control. Yes, you are. This is the last card, but you know. So this other one is overcome. Oh, oh, that's that's a throw Eldrin card, I think. The the reset. Uh, creature give you creatures one. you control get plus two plus two. Oh, that's really good. I think I got that. I think I've got this in my deck. Pretty sure I have because plus two plus two for all the creatures. And Where is Vile Dragon? Ah, oh, found it. Um, 
Right, so I've got a bunch of them. Yeah, so they can do excess combat damage to the player. <laughs> I don't know how to do this. Ah, uh, down. down. <laughs> right. <laughs> Wait. Right. So just right. With that. So we got. I've got that one. I've got, I'm gonna keep it in my other deck. So as we were talking about this search library for this, put it on. Put it into your hand. Either of these. Yeah. Alright, <laughs> right, so, there, there we go. Right, so this is Heart Pierce This is when Aaron Webb was me. So you can pay one blues, tap it, search your library for a card named Heart Pierce Bow or Vial of Dragonfire. Reveal it and put it into hand, then shuffle your library. What? Focus. Ah, uh, focus is bad. Okay. Can we please just show them the card that I hold? I say I. So what do you think it is? What do you think we must begin with? K. Next letter. Y. Mm. That's bullying. Okay. You are right. it. This is the card that we could just hold. It's a bird wizard. It's Jess guys with my colours as well. Right, so this is Kika, Kaika, uh, Wind Suri, uh, one and Jess guy, which is blue, red, white. It's a three three. The legendary creature. It's a bird wizard. It's mythic. Stated here. It has flying. Whenever you cast a non creature spell, create a one one white spirit creature token with flying. Sacrifice a spirit, add one red mana. I will be back with the price for this. So, okay. I'm gonna go there. So this, this, there's not many of these, is there? Three color commanders. Although, um, I think the new, the new box that's coming out has got quite a few of them, hasn't it? Right, on Magic the Gathering Goldfish. Yeah. $2.64. You know what's a foil, yeah? What? It's a foil. It's not a foil. It's a foil. It's not a foil. How much is a foil? How much is a foil? Right. Oh, it's awesome. If we were to get this in foil, it would be $8.49. Oh, well. That's a shame. <laughs> oh. I hate you so much. <laughs> so I'll put that up there. And I'll build the deck for, for my first three color deck. Do you know why? I you do. You have plenty. I've plenty of Um, You have plenty of cards here. I don't. <laughs> what do you mean? You're about he's to have just to. Re he's just referring to. Uh, our next episodes. Yes. <laughs> well, so, ooh, new ooh. bundle content. Is it, is it a token? Yeah, it's a token. Yeah, yeah. I just want to know if it's a token. It's a demon. It's a demon. So, oh. <laughs> is it a foil? Yes, it's a foil! Oh. Wolf can bond. Yeah. I we had this already. Yeah, we got it. But it wasn't foil. No, it wasn't foil. It wasn't foil. It was printed in M19, I think. Last year's 2020 box. No, last year's 19. Y 2019. 2019. Well, yeah. Of course, right. 19. Ooh. Um, 19. Okay. So, the next one should be a land. A land. See? If it's not, you're dead. Oh, it's a land. It's a land. So, uh, what's that? It's a Sour Barrens. It's uh, a life land. Uh, and it's about to tap, and you gain life on it, and it's about to build. So this, is, this is black or white. Add white or black. Yes. <sighs> Okay, so what do you reckon of all the chances? No, 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 no. Oh, I thought you were about to pull that top one off. I was like, oh. It's shiny. I'm going to be sleeping. Shiny. Now. Put it, I thought, oh, I thought you put it on me. I <laughs> think I'm right. Okay. Feral Invocation. Already got it. Stead for Sentry. Already got it. Look, Piranhas, we haven't covered yet. It's a 3-3 three, three with Defender, so it means it can't attack. It 
It costs two two. Oh, well, it, it costs two. One blue, one generic. Morlin Inquisitor. Two two for two. We've already covered it. Sorcerer of the Fang. One three for two. Already covered it. It's rubbish. Should be burned. Griffin Sentinel. <coughs> one three for three. Already covered it. Oh, a one we haven't had. What a luxury. <laughs> so two one for two. Uh, pay one. Red. Goblin Bird Grabber gains flying until end of turn. Activate this ability only if you control a creature with flying. So that's that's pretty good, but if you don't have flying, yeah, well... Um, so what's the damage? Two red. Yeah. Come here. For our next card, we have... A ferocious pup. <laughs> ferocious pup. <laughs> 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 she is a fraud of pup. You little sweetie. Go on. Back there. Go on. In your basket. Get off the set. In your basket, no such as we are. Okay. We've already covered that one, sadly, though. What's that? Uh, ferocious pup. Barony Vampire. We have a vanilla card. Three, two, foot three. Trash. <laughs> Otherwise known as. So you put that on the deck. You just didn't have my cards. Yeah. Bark Hide Troll. Or Troll. 2 2 for 2 green. Bark Hide Troll enters a battlefield with a plus 1 plus 1 counter on it. Uh, pay 1, remove a, a plus 1 plus 1 counter from Bark Hide Troll. Bark Hide Troll gains hex proof until end of turn. Mm. Mm, decent. Corpse Knight. Oh, zombie. Cool. The 2 2 for Orzov, which is white black. Uh, the zombie knight. Whenever another creature ends the battlefield under your control, each opponent loses one life. <coughs> Goblin <coughs> ring. That looks different. Different. Are they different art styles? No, it's different. Different. the fonts. No, it's the same font, just looks different. It's weird. Goblin mm. ring leader. It's a 2 2 for 4 with haste. When Goblin Ringleader enters the battlefield, reveal the top four cards of your library. Put all Goblin cards revealed this way into your hand and the rest at the bottom of your library in any order. And I'll read it. Brought back. It's an instant for two white. Uh, choose up to two target permanents, permanent cards in your graveyard that were put there from the battlefield this turn. Return them to the battlefield tapped. So that's good. Do you want to leave it? Red. Quite, but it's not in your colours. Unless you build that new commander. That's white one, isn't it? Yeah. Okay, you know what? You can have the next one. Whoop whoop. If I crack any mythics. Oh. You can look at them for longer than you let me know. <laughs> <coughs> really sad. All these cards, I'm going to have to go through and work out what they are and, and um, what I'm going to do with Because <coughs> I have. I'm still learning about decks and deck loadings and so on. We're only playing Commander. Whoop. Um, We've got a foil so mountain. The one that you liked, the foil mountain. Oh, That's foil. Yeah. Oh, that is lush. <laughs> I did like that card. If you looked, I can't remember whether it was this video or the last video. Yeah. When it came up. I think it was the last video, like at the end. And, uh, yeah, I do like that. Basic land. Well, it's not basic. It's very nice land. <laughs> Simple land. Spirit. Mm. Okay. Metropolis Sprite. Keep them there, I have to ask already got it. I mean, I could reach. Already got it. Squad Captain. Got it. Protector. Got it. Scorch Spitter. Got it. We've done that. This one. We've done that one. Yeah, we've done, we've done all of these. We've done this one. We've done this one. We've done this one. Are you sure? Yeah, we've done all of these. You sure? Because I don't miss out. Right, this one. We haven't done. You sure? Yeah. Right, this is... Oh, Lightning Stormkin. As, as, you've g as soon as he got that Kika, or Kaika, he's been drawing Jeskai cards. I like this card. Yeah, we've, we've, we've drawn it before. Have we? Yeah. Oh, oh here we go. Look at this. <laughs> it's a 4-4 four, four for this 5. This is good because... Because okay, it's so black. Bags. So it's not about getting green black, right? Yeah. 4 4, which is good. Yeah, for 5. Yeah. 
What do you lose life? For the first time each two. Two. But if you two. if you had if you had that in your Villas deck that like in a Villas deck. What with my new with my new card? With your new demon commander. Yeah. Uh, that would be pretty good because you you lose life with it. It does so many things if you had that. It synergizes so well. Stormkin drew uh, lightning stormkin. Two two four blue red with it has flying in haste. Flying in haste. Jeez. Yeah, so it's good. Salvager of ruins. Two one for three. It's construct artifact creature construct. Sacrifice salvager of ruins. Choose target permanent card in your graveyard that was put there from the battlefield this turn. Return it to your hand. Oh, there is our. That's good because. Oh, good. There's our rear and there's our land. Our land was that, that one. So where's this rear? Voracious, that one. Uh, that one. voracious Hydra. You no. got one. You got one in your thing upstairs. This one is. I haven't got this one. Sure? I haven't got a whole lot of this, this, this entire, this entire set. None of these sets. Horatius Hydra is a naught one for two green and X. It has trample. Voracious Hydra enters the battlefield with X plus one plus one counters on it. When Voracious Hydra enters the battlefield, choose one. Double the amount of plus one plus one counters on Voracious Hydra, or Voracious Hydra. Fights target creature you don't control. That is a, uh, good, a good card. That okay. is an amazing card. And better than that, green. It's green, so, so it can go to death. an example of this now. So say if I got if I got seven creatures. Okay. No, it's not about creatures. It's about how much mana you got. So well, if yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, it's head it's mana. Get mixed up, yeah. Um. You know. It's I've, got, I've, only, I've only just started playing this game. Um, so, if I have... Seven if I have Nine lands. Seven forests. Nine. Forests. I've got nine. Two, for, uh, two forests and seven... I've got nine lands. Something else. So, take away two. That leaves seven. And you pay seven for the X. Yeah. So that leaves me with that. X so plus one plus one counters. This enters that field with seven plus one plus ones. So it'd be a seven eight. Seven eight. Okay. And you could choose to double the amount of counters. When it enters the battlefield. And I can double the number of counters. So or, that would be Yeah, it'd be in a fourteen fifteen. And double do you double afterwards? Yes. No. Y you, you, you yeah. Double the counters on it. Comes yeah. in the battlefield, it okay, comes yeah. a seven eight. Yeah. yeah. And then it comes to 15. It doesn't double the numbers, it doubles the counters. Yeah. All right. Or, and it, or it fights target creatures you don't control. So fight is a bit like combat, but it doesn't tap. It just deals damage to the creature. Uh, fights target creatures so I can target it, the creature with this? Can yeah. I say, okay, I... And it deals uh, the amount of power it has. So with this, with this one, I could specify that I'm going to attack. Creature. Every, every yeah. Card. That's the only way you can directly attack a creature. Or so that is a really good card. That is a card in my deck. I can see you sweating. Oh, he is sweating because he's, well. he's very coy. He is very. This coy. has put me on edge. I'm, I'm like hyperventilating a little. <laughs> Every time I get a decent card, I got for one of the slightly not as decent cards. Come on. There's a sigh of relief when he gets a rubbish card. Oh, righty ho! This one had been tampered with. What have you been doing with this? <laughs> Soldier, land. Soldier and swamp. Okay, that's how. That's the two. Land like. and our token. So that means there's no foil. There's no foil unless, unless. <sighs> last one is wrong. Oh. <laughs> what didn't say anything. Undead Servant. Already got it. Ooh, it's a 1-1-1 one, one, one blue. It's a flying fairy rogue. When fairy miscreant enters the battlefield, if you control another creature named fairy miscreant, draw a card. It's a good card for standard, not so much commander. Soul Mender. We've already got it. Quite a good card. It's 1-1-1-1. One, one one. And when you tap it, you gain one life. 
angelic, we angelic gift, which we have. We have. We have. We have. If you were paying attention to cards we draw, yes, we have. Oh, okay. Uh, the back card was showing. I know what it is, and I'll be looking for one. <laughs> you've seen that whole one. No, 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 no. I've seen. I've so. seen the back card. I only go O oh, when I see some uh, oh. a, a border. What's occurring? No, we're not doing that. <laughs> when, I, when I see the the border, because I, I saw a border for. A well, I will take the back card. I'll take. You can see. I can take in from this camera. Dracusef, more of flames. And I'm gonna take it there so you can't see it. Cause he's, I'm <laughs> sure he's there. But I'm gonna, I'm gonna check it out. Dracusef, more of flames. You cheat! You saw it. I've already, I've got it, but I've lost it. I, I, I got it from the precon. If you watch my videos, uh, well, we've kind of blown it now, so we might as well show people. <laughs> you are this, this is the, this is the one that came up. So this looks good. I'm gonna put this in my red deck. You don't have a red deck. I will to show them. <laughs> yeah, I will too. With all them cards. To seven, seven, to seven. seven. seven it's good. With flying. And when it attacks, it deals four damage to any target and three damage to up to each to it to each up of up to two other targets. So in total that deals seventeen damage. So do seven. Seven combat damage. Yeah. Depends whether yeah. it's blocked or not. And four to a target. Four to, to any target. And three to two other targets. Yeah. That's good. That's a good card. An amazing card. It is. Um, <coughs> yeah, legendary creature. Uh, it's rare. So, legendary creature means... It's a dragon throne. I can use it. I was looking for to build a dragon tribal. I was going to build a dragon tribal. Okay. Well, you can use it as your commander, yeah. Yeah. But it has to be in the same colours as the commander. So it can only be mono red, because it's only red. Yeah. <coughs> More orders acts as a two artifact equipment. Equip two. Equip creature guess plus two plus zero. Wolfkin bond. We that one, we? Yep. Kelvin ranger. Oh, you got Reader. One. Got it. <coughs> Agonizing siphon. I think we have. Uh, center Corsa. Yeah. Deal three damage to any target, and you gain three, three life. It's a cost four. Mm. We got that. We definitely got that. We haven't got this. Unchained Berserker. One one for two. Human Berserker. Protection from white. Unchained Berserker gets plus two plus zero as long as it's attacking. What is that? Plus one. Yeah, plus two plus zero. Protection. From white, this creature Special can't be white. blocked, targeted, dealt damage, enchanted, equipped by anything white. Oh, that's interesting. Apostle of Purifying Light. It's a 2 1 for 2. Protection from black. It can't be blocked, targeted, dealt damage, enchanted, or equipped by anything black. Last kind of similar. Yeah. Uh, exile target card from graveyard if you pay 2. Right, so. Alright, protection the thing. We don't worry about it. Protection the thing, yeah, but people who watch us don't know. Just it's the thing. We we are all noobs. You think that think that we are all the same. Ooh. We're not super oh, super clever solid. in the game. Ooh, ooh. I've got nothing. <laughs> Another last card. Uh, blood for bones. We've already covered it, so we've covered it. Get on. Here we covered your blood for bones. <laughs> Yeah, so there we are. Um, some nice cards there in the that those six packs, and yeah, that that um, I think toss up between a couple of decent cards from that deck. Um, I think we pulled the the foil one this episode. Yeah, they were they were, they were the ones that uh, we pulled that were really good. My favorite of all them is probably. Um, what's that one? <laughs> it's the foil mountain because that is. Oh. See, it should be having more before series like that. Rather than a foil. Rather than a foil. Uh, painting. Actually, uh, we can get we can get pot to try, try, and, try and copy it tomorrow. It, yeah. Should probably do a better job. But for now, uh, we'll catch you with another six packs soon.